uh, from the Shimmer Stitch Group. I wanted to do this video because there's been a lot of talk about what's the right way, what's the correct way to do your diamond painting. Honestly, there is no right or wrong way. This is how I do it. Just a quick view. I'm going to use this as an example because I've already cut. What I do is I take a marker and a ruler and I go across. I'll, I'll be going all the way across and then I draw lines going this way. So we'll have these lines and then we'll have another line here to get your squares. As you move through the square, you can cut the top of the line like I've done here. And you just keep cutting off squares, but the rest of your glue is covered, so that's protected. Now, as far as organizing, not all of you are going to have this many trays. This is how many diamond arts I've actually got. Um, what I do is I take a little post-it tab. I put the DCM and the symbol. And then I'll fill these trays up. Now, um, I ran out of my little container boxes, so I went to Family Dollar and I got these little party drink cups that have lids. And I wrote the name of the artwork that I'm doing, the piece, the number, and then the symbol. And it makes it real easy to refill, especially if you don't have enough trays for every symbol on the legend. Okay, so to show you a little bit more... I've already cut these going this way. I did not cut going across. And that is simply because when I'm ready, I will fold these back, put a nice little crease in there. And then as I work, when I get to the end, I can snip it off here. Like if you're working in the middle or, or the bottom row, you can cut that as you move, and it's going to leave these little tabs. I leave a little bit of space to grab it, but you're cut all the way up, so all you have to do is cut across as you finish. And this way, the glue on your diamond art painting is protected the whole time you're doing it. Some people will tell you to pull down from the top. I don't like that. Um, it opens up too much space, and some of the glue can get dried. Also, if you can, use a light pad because these things, okay, this one is not specifically from Shimmer Stitch. So I put it on the brightest I can and it makes it a lot easier to read the symbols. And that, that's basically how I do mine. I hope this helped you and thank you.